Hi everyone, this is Aleha from Crafts and More. I hope that you guys had a nice holiday season and are having a great new year so far. Today I'm going to show you how to make these simple paper roses. Like this one here. Now I'll give you a closer look of all the ones that I made so far. You can use these as decorations for a wreath or any other craft that you'd like to decorate. They're great for Valentine's Day. So first thing you'll need is some paper. You can use construction paper. You can use some old book pages or even some cardstock if you like. If you like. So you want to cut out a circle and I just use a container lid here. My circle measures about four inches in diameter, so four inches across. And if you want smaller flowers or bigger flowers, you'll need to make bigger circles. So I'm going to show you, give you a closer look on how I'm going to be cutting this. You're going to be cutting a spiral onto your paper or you can draw it in. I usually just like to eyeball it and just cut my spiral. Let me show you a closer look how to do this. I'm going to go ahead and cut out the spiral and again we're going to start with a nar start narrow and work our way into the circle and it'll get wider and wider. So I'm going to start right here and cutting this way will give your flower a more tapered look. Like I said you can draw your spiral in the, on the paper before you cut or you can just do it like this and just eyeball it. When you're finished cutting your spiral, we're going to start rolling this in. You're going to start at this end. So you're going to start rolling it. You might have to fold it in. Give you a better look here. So once we have that center of your flower established, you're going to keep rolling just like so. And when you get to this end here, you simply just fold this over like that. And that'll be the bottom of your flower. You can go ahead and uncoil your flower to whichever size you like. So you just slowly let it uncoil. And when you find your desired size, you can go ahead and put some glue at the bottom of your flower. So I'm using hot glue just because it dries faster. So I'm just going to Put it on the base here. Hold it down and just let it set for about a minute and it should be done. So just like that, very simple. Let me show you the other flowers that I made so far. So here are some pink and red ones and I'll be using some of these on a wreath I'll be working on soon that I will be uploading the next few days. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial today. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in with us at Crafts and More. And please stay tuned. I'll be uploading another video soon on how I'm going to put this wreath together for Valentine's Day. Have a wonderful day and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.